Hi guys, today for ICT we are going to pick out four things, four important things that have happened in our lives. And we're going to try and draw pictures of those four things and then put them in order of which they happened. Now this is called sequencing, putting things in order. So you're going to pick out four important things, put them in order that have happened in your life. Now I'm going to think of one for me. If I think back, I can remember my first day of school. My first day of school is an important thing that happened in my life and I can really remember it well. You don't have to do the same as me, but I'm going to show you what we're going to do here. I'm going to draw a picture of my first day at school. Okay, so I'm going to draw my first day of school. Now, some of you might think, Mm, first day of school, but that's something I can remember really well. Now my picture doesn't really matter how good the picture is, I'm just going to start the picture. I'm just going to use stick figures really to draw my picture. Up, basketball court, basketball ring, me coming to school with my mum. My mum had hair taller than me and this is how my picture turns out well now you know why I am not the art teacher but how good the picture is it's not really that important here you can see my mum hopefully holding my hand my great stick figure people playing basketball court and the flag of the school now my second drawing I think I will do I remember falling off a playground when I was really young and I hit my head on the ground. It was off the monkey bars. So I'm going to draw my playground and me falling off the monkey bars. That's going to be my next drawing. It doesn't mean it's in order. It's just what I can remember. Okay, there's me on the ground sucking up. Wah! As I hit the ground and... Um, start crying I think but I remember I had a fairly decent lump in my head after I fell off those monkey bars something else I can remember my life really really well is losing my first tooth have any of you lost your first tooth or can you remember losing your first tooth I'm going to do a real ugly picture here of me nose big mouth open teeth that's going to look interesting now I can hear you saying, you are ugly, Mr. E. Well, yeah, this picture is ugly. And I told you I wasn't a very good artist, but uh, there's me holding my tooth with a big gap uh, where it used to be. And yes, I did have hair once upon a time. And finally, my wife might say, why can't you remember our wedding day? But I'm going back early. I'm trying to find times around your guys' age. And probably one of my earliest memories is taking my first steps. So I'm going to draw a picture of me walking for the first time. I must have either had a good memory or I must have walked pretty late to remember that one. Oh, <laughs> well, here it is. What a great piece of art this is. Well, I think you guys can do better than me. Now you've got your four pieces of art together. The four things that have happened in your life. What are we going to do with it now? Okay, now we've got our four pictures. This is the part where you really have to think. This is the part where you, I want you to say, grab your pictures and put them in order. So I have got first day of school. I'm going to put that on my desk. Walking for the first time falling off the playground and losing my first tooth. Now I have to put them in order. Here we go. I would say walking for the first time is the first thing that happened out of these four pictures. It might not have been the first thing that happened in my life, but is the first thing that happened out of these pictures. The second thing out of these pictures was going to school for the first time. 
So walking, going to school. Ooh, this one's a hard one, falling off the playground or the first tooth. I think actually falling off the playground after I went to school. Okay, next. And then lastly, losing my tooth. So there you have it, my four pictures in order. Laid out in order here. There you can see right to the end. Number one, working, walking for the first time. Number two, in the playground, going to school. Sorry, going to school. Number three, falling off in the playground. Number four, losing my first tooth. Now, your things don't have to be the same as mine. They can be four things that you remember. And when you've done the four things, I want you to take a picture of them and put it onto Seesaw. Grade ones and twos, you can color these if you want to, sorry. You can color these if you want, you can make it look right, but I want you to get it in order. Grade ones and twos, if you've done that and you want to have a go at using PowerPoint, I'll get this going properly. <laughs> if you want to have a go at doing this in PowerPoint or Keynote or Slides in Google, but probably PowerPoint, I'd like you to have a go in PowerPoint and I'll show the the end of the video that how to do that uh, grade preps and grade one you could have a go at that too if you think you're good enough a mum and dad might even be able to help you a little bit harder but we'll go to that now okay grade ones and twos um, we are going to try and do a PowerPoint of this, you don't have to, but if you think you can, if you've got a computer and you've got it on it, or you might have a thing called Keynote on an iPad, it does the same thing or very similar. We are gonna try and make some slides like this. You might remember from last year, PowerPoint, we look for the big P. Perhaps you won't be able to do this at this stage, but who knows, mum or dad might be able to help you. We'll look for the big P, hit that and open PowerPoint. And I've already made three of these slides, me walking, going to school, and then the playground, okay? And I'm gonna quickly show you, remind you how you do this. I've also put some writing, you can see, falling off the playground. Um, first day of school, I've done the writing there. So just very quickly, the last slide, the last slide there, I will show you how to do it. We're going to go here, new slide up the top. This is how I made all the other slides. I'm going to go blank new slide. And that's actually out of order, but I can drag that and change your order. So I'm going to go to that blank slide and now I've got a piece of paper and I'm going to put my last picture in. Now this is the hard part. You have to have got your pictures off your phone you might, sorry, your, your drawings, you might have had to take a picture with your phone. You might have had to email them, get them onto your computer somehow. This is where you might need mum or dad to help you. But it's like something you can try. You don't have to do this. It's something you can try. If you do get your pictures onto your computer, you have to tell the computer where they are. So you're going to go insert and you're going to go pictures, insert a picture. And you have to tell the computer where you're keeping that picture. I had to go and find the picture along this sequence, along the breadcrumb, school, 220, home stuff, ICT, W2 sequencing. That's where I'm keeping it. And I go to my last picture, which was, oh, sorry, my last picture was the tooth. And insert, and there's my picture of the tooth on the last slide. And I'm going to click on that picture grab the corners and drag in to make it a bit smaller. And then I'm gonna go back up the top menu here and go insert, text box, draw a box, and now I can write in it, losing my first tooth. And there we have it, now I have the sequence. 
I've already given it a name. I've already gone file and saved it. Save as. Maybe you've got to tell it where you're going to save it. I'm just going to go save. And now, if I want to, I can watch my slideshow if I wanted to. I could go through the whole slideshow in order of those things happening. Bit harder, but ones and twos, you might want to try it. If you've got those pictures done then, I'm happy. If you do the PowerPoint slide, you can even put that to Seesaw. If you've just take, done your pictures, try and get a picture of it and put that on Seesaw. Well done, guys. I know there's a lot there. But just try and get the four pictures done at least in order or important things in your life. See you next week.